Hello my friends, my name is Derek Humphrey. You may know me from my well-known books, Final Exit and Gene's Way. You may know that I founded the Hemlock Society in 1980 and, and built it into a national organization. It doesn't exist now, the Hemlock Society has merged with another group. The reason for this particular video is that it seems to me that the there is public confusion about what the Right to Die movement is aiming to do. So I've prepared a, a new manifesto, a credo, um, a charter, uh, so to, whichever you like, uh, to define what our goals are. <clears throat> I've called it Liberty and Death. A manifesto concerning an individual's right to choose to die. In a spirit of compassion for all, this manifesto proclaims that every competent adult has the incontestable right to humankind's ultimate civil and personal liberty, the right to choose to die in a manner of their own and at a time of their choosing. Whereas modern medicine has brought great benefits to humanity, it cannot entirely solve the pain and distress of the dying process. Each person deals with death in their individual way, which way is determined by their health, their ethics and personal living conditions. The degree to which physical pain and psychological distress can be tolerated is different in all humans. Quality of life judgments are private and personal, thus only the sufferer can make relevant decisions. Persuasion or provocation to the act of self-killing are deplorable and should be punished according to relevant laws. Suicide, no longer being a crime, it is unacceptable to prosecute well-meaning people for assisted suicide. Medically assisted death by request should be made lawful everywhere, as it is now in the Netherlands, Belgium, Luxembourg, Switzerland and the American states of Oregon and Washington. Each place has their different rules. Choosing to hasten death by self-starvation and dehydration should be accompanied by palliative care. Electing to die by terminal sedation is also a choice provided it is freely made by the patient. Advanced directives, also known as living wills, and durable powers of attorney for health care must be respectfully considered by medical professionals at all times. Views on the dying process contrary to those expressed in this manifesto are respected, but must not trump the autonomy of the dying person's own decisions. And that, my friends, is my credo for the right to choose to die to try to be clear about what our movement stands for. You can uh, visit my website to take this further and to make a copy of this at www.finalexit.org and on the left hand side halfway down you will see this manifesto printed and you are welcome to use it if you wish, it is not copyright.